Oh, hey, that's the end of the episode. Welcome, everybody. This is episode eight. Oh, my gosh. That's whatever that legendary bear thingy is. We are not going that way. That is terrifying. That sucker that right <clears throat> that sucker right there will eat the crap out of me if it catches me. <clears throat> so we're gonna detour and not go next to him. I mean it's a legendary loot bag if I could kill it, but that is a huge if. The problem is I would really need to have some kind of like structure or something to fight it from. Got him. Sweet. Yeah, that makes me sad because I would have loved to have fought that, but I did not have the resources like because I've got what? I've got 150 rounds and I might have been able to kill it, but it would have been a rough fight. And that's only provided it didn't kill me first. Rude. I hate spiders so much. Stop it. No. Get out of here. My least favorite zombie in the entire game right there. I'll take a I'll take a, a boomer or a a demo over one of those. Because demos give you the uh, legendary bag when they drop. And worst case scenario, if you're not going to be able to kill it, you just tap it in the shoulder and then run away and let it blow up. I am rather close to a level up. I also... Hang on, let me... Not that one, this one. Okay, so I still need steel. And I need to harvest cars more and get another engine. And then I need two honeys. I was hoping to get two honeys while I was just out running through the forest here. But, ooh, that was four eggs. But I'm not really running into many stumps. Oh, there's one. The problem is currently stumps don't have a super high chance of dropping anything good. Yeah. Yeah. I do not like having the burning shaft mod on my stuff. It's not good. Makes visibility a lot worse when you're in the dark. It, it's really good when you're in like the pitch black, when they're like indoor pitch black, but when you're outside just in the night with like the moon. I just thought about this. Does the moon change? Um, does the moon change from night to night or is it always just a full moon? See, that's a good question. I, I've never asked that question, and I don't know the answer. A couple of zombies out there in the desert. More eggs. 17 eggs, baby. A couple more books, and I'll have some bacon and eggs. How much meat do I have, too? I have 20 meat. Not a ton, but I'll take it. It's not bad. Oh, let's do let's do a purge real quick. Can I dump, like... I really don't have almost anything to dump. I can eat the miso soup, and then there was some plant fiber I thought in here that... Well, I thought I had plant fiber. Hmm. Come here, bud. Kneecap, kneecap, kneecap. Yeah. I'm shy an engine from getting the one done. Come on, engine. Another battery. Nope. My inventory is full as well, though. Let's organize. How many batteries? I have three batteries. 
I'll see if I can sell. Yeah, see, look at that. A level three is only 140. That means a level six is only going to be 200, which is gross. It would be cool if they made it 280 for a level five and then 300 for a level six. There's another dude over there. I just heard him. Oh, yeah, I'm uncovered. <laughs> Oh, there's the... That's the garbage I was looking at. I was like, it's here somewhere. Hi, Wrecked. I got some goodies to trade. Oh, well, look here, boys. I want we that one. We got a real love hero. And now he wants to be... I got work to do. A I'd real love hero. Flash some cash or get lost. Okay, so I want to sell the engines i want to sell those um the laser sight helps when firing from hip i don't know if that's actually any good sell the engine i don't need the engine i'll keep the the tires good i'll keep the tire sell that we'll keep the oil for now we'll sell the brass organize okay i think that's I'll sell those because I don't use them. I just brute force it. I'd rather I'd rather brute force it than waste 75 lockpicks and still not get in. Um, nope, don't care about any of those. He has an orange die, which I'll take. I don't know if that counts towards my honey collection. My guess is not. He has a cement mixer. Wow. He also has a cigar. Strength mod, reflex sight. He has two cigars. I might save up and try to get one of those cigars off of him. That would be fairly useful, I think. Headlight. Battery engine. Be careful out All there. Right. You wouldn't want to get hurt. Wow, that's the first thing he said to me, which sounded semi genuine. Problem is I can't tell if he meant that in threat or if he was honestly trying to be nice. A hey, an ergonomic grip mod. Heck yeah. Slap that on the bow and make the bow orange while we're at it. Nice. Ergonomic grip is really good. Okay, where's my home? My home is over there. Okay. Oh, I need to harvest a bunch of steel. I'm going to have to work on getting steel here pretty quick. Level 2 medium armors. Sweet. Oh, also I do want to spend some time getting some actual armor going. I'm currently wearing a little bit. I have an assassin hood and a preacher's gloves. The preacher set could be good. Because it just does bonus damage to undead, so it's just like increased damage. It is light as well, if I remember right. There we go. Still did not get my last engine. I need one more engine and then two more. Did that honey count towards my thingy? I don't think it did. No, it wants me to harvest honey, not find honey. So I need one more engine, and then I need to harvest some steel. The steel is um easy-ish. Like, if you know where it's at, it's easy. But then it's just a matter of getting it. The engine, or the engines, the steel, the main places to get steel are broken vending machines and the um, transformers off of power lines. But only certain power lines will have the transformers. Yeah, see, there's one right there. Let's go frame. Yeah, building blocks. I forgot they changed the name on them. Yeah, give me 100 of those. And then put that here. Yeah, so that has steel in it. So if we go... Oh, stop it. Yeah, so if we go up here, we need to... Oh, let's see if I can do this before it breaks. Oh, well, I did. My wrench is about to break. But yeah, the, the main places to get the the steel is going to be from the transformers. Uh, the lights like that, those have them too. 
but I really need to repair that. Oh, wait, hang on. I have some more mods. Can I? None of my mods will go on that. Um, what if we go with take this one off and put that one on, right? Because this one decreases degradation. Yeah. And then can I throw the teeth on that one? I cannot. Modify. You already have one. Okay, so I don't have anything I can put on it. Yeah, as I say, you can't have both of those blades on, on it. So, okay, get me off of that. Oh, oh, we have a horde tonight. Already, we got another one. Ladies and gentlemen, they got us. All right, and I'm going to go for some steel harvesting real quick because it's easy. Hi, right, I want your steel. Oh, I can't reach. I still can't reach. I was about to say, they didn't change this to no steel, did they? The frame has, like, no stability, so we're not going to get very far off that. That's okay, we don't need it to. We just want the steel while it's easy. Nice, four steel. Okay, that was a bunch of more steel. A bunch of more. A bunch of more steel. All right, now I got to get all my crap inside the inside the house real quick. Interesting. I have so much garbage on me. I don't think you give steel. You just give mechanical parts, right? Or electrical parts, yeah. A lot of electrical parts, though. Look at that. Seven electrical parts. Heck yeah. And then we have another horde tonight, so we'll we'll probably need to top off the base a little bit at some point. And then... Yeah, let's just dump all the goodies. Oh, um, let's do that real quick. We have our workbench ready. So I'm going to stick my workbench down. And then I can make level two armor. So let's go armor. I need armor crafting kits first. Let's track that one. We need the duct tape. Let's go duct tape. A lot of duct tape. We need the parts and the sewing kits. And then I'm going to go for the full 10, I think, on this. Wow, I actually have mods now. Mod, mod, mod. And then I can throw down my Dew Collector too here in a minute. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I really want my thing on my roof here, I think. My Dew Collector. I probably want that like right there. Problem is, I think I need to at least replace the... I was going to say, I at least need to replace the center block with a big block so it doesn't fall off. Yeah, I at least need to replace that one with a block block. And then I can stick my dew collector on top of that. It's not great, but it'll do. And then I can throw those two in, and then this should be producing six waters at a time. Cool. So I do have a dew collector. I, I need to get those off of here at some point. I do want to put some kind of like maybe a maybe this kind of a, a bar wall around the entire top outside maybe at some point. Like that could be pretty cool. Oh, and then I need to look into maybe a little more cobblestone. All right. And then if we go to, yeah, we have 10. Let's look at armor real quick. I think I wanted to look at the athletic set. Light armor. Strike a better deal on food, drinks, and drugs. Use less food and water. Athletic. Increases maximum health. Increases run speed. Okay, let's go Preacher. Gloves. 
right? Because I have a level one preacher glove. Yeah, let's do a level two preacher glove. Let's wear that. Scrap that and get our piece back. If we did just full preacher, what does full preacher do? Reduces the chance of critical injuries, reduces incoming damage, and it's light. The hat gives discounts on purchased items. And then the boots gives faster healing on abrasions and stuff. Reduces the chance of that. Um, I mean, I could try a full set of Preacher and just see what I think. Otherwise, I was kind of feeling like athletic. Or I could do Lumberjack. Lumberjack just gives... Yeah, reduce stamina while sprinting. And it's a light armor as well. Let's go Lumberjack. Be the boss. Increases wood harvest. Increases melee damage with axes. Reduces encumbrance. And then lowers stamina when using... See, some of these are really niche, though, is the problem. Find more cash and dukes and loot. Increases loot stage. Better lock picks. I don't particularly care about that. What does Miner do? Miner gives us... Hey, how you doing, man? YouTube slow on notification. That's true. Increases mining tool harvests. Nomad Ranger Primitive. Ranger Hat Scavenger. What does Scavenger do? Scavenger is medium. Find better quality loot. Reduces stamina. I kind of want to maybe try a Scavenger outfit. I'm kind of feeling Scavenger, I think. Oops, scavenger. Let's just do scavenger. Carrying capacity 2, salvage experience 20%, salvage harvest 10%, reduced salvage stamina. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, where's my... There, there it is. Okay, so we're going to scrap that one, scrap that one, modify, take that out, and scrap that one. I just barely made the Preacher Glove. We will keep the Preacher Glove probably for, like, fighting, um, like, Horde Knight type of stuff. But yeah, I'm rocking... Ooh, apparently my hair is green. I don't remember my hair being green, but apparently my hair is green. And then I have the experience... Whoa, salvaging plus 10% experience gain, and that and that affects my salvaging experience? That's interesting. So that's 30% experience when salvaging. And then my I'm on a medium armor rating, so I should throw at least one point into medium then. Yeah, let's do at least one point in there. Okay, and then we're going to dump all the rest of our goodies here. Um, it's mostly food. Yeah, as I say, most of my inventory there was food. I got a ton of iron, though. I really need to get some of these pieces. Oh, that's the other thing I need to look into. What can I craft here? Did I ever get up to the wood bow? I did. Level one wood bow. Let's get one of those real quick. We want a duct tape. We want a leather and we want a bow part, which I do have. Yeah, get me a wood bow. And then... Nice. Yeah, so this is going from 39 to 44. Ooh, and I have another mod spot for it. Can I do that on it? That would be really funny if it could handle that. Aw, if it could have a laser sight on the bow. They should, they should add that. That would be so cool. Imagine using a regular bow and having a laser dot sight in the middle. That'd be so cool. All right. Sweet. And we've got our wood bow, which is actually a very good step up. Let's 
Let's do... Yeah, 19 arrows. Okay. Now we have another horde tonight, which is soon. We have another horde soon, so we need to work on that. Oh, let's get us a iron door. I don't have enough iron for that. Let's throw some blocks in. Okay, turn that on. Give me some forged iron. Okay. And then how's our dew collector coming? Good already. I love it. Okay, so what I usually will do here, I also need cobblestone bricks. Let's look into that. Or cobblestone. Cobble. I need the cobble rocks. And then do we have any leftover cobble rocks? Barely. I'm guessing that the assassin gear helps a lot lower ranks of sneaky missions. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The assassin armor is insane. It is so good. It is probably the best armor by far. I'm tr I'm just trying something new. I'm really good at stealth regardless of whether I'm using the... When you have that armor on. Door. I need iron door. Craft. Yeah, when you have the iron... Or the iron... When you have the assassin gear on, you are just invisible. Well, that's terrifying. Come here, I'm at my house. I'm okay to fight you now. Hi. Where'd he go? Well, I'm definitely not leaving the house now. I was going to... I think he's inside. I think he's inside. Let's not fall to our death. Let's not do that. Like, there is no reason for the game to decide to yeet me off to my death like that. Oh my heck. The game straight up was like, hey, do you want to die? Because I'm going to kill you. It's like, no. Where is he? There you are. Oh, stop moving. Stop moving, bro. You're already going to take all of my ammo to kill. Oh. I need a pipe now to repair this. I'm going to use 100% of my ammo trying to kill this thing. Ma'am, can't you see I'm busy? Look at this. I'm going to use 150 rounds and not kill this thing. Got him.
I was gonna say I was gonna repair the or I was gonna make this better, but Miner gloves, huh? Interesting. Yeah, um before I had that guy show up, I was gonna build a ramp off of this, but I had not gotten to that point yet. Right. I cannot even reach that high, come to find out. Uh, shape, I would like a um, this one, please. And then we're going to go like this. We're going to say on face. I got to be on this, though, because it's so high. Like that. Nope, not that. Okay. Now these bits... I need to upgrade because they are not very strong. Okay. And then we're going to copy shape. Actually, let's do let's do the floating. We're going to do the floating instead. We're going to go Nah, it's fine. What block is this? Nope. That one. Yeah, there we go. The game is throwing sounds at me like something's about to happen, so... Copy shape. Like that. The idea is this gives animals an actual way to get up to you and you want the animals to get up to you, that way they don't just sit around the bottom and beat on your structure. You don't want the animals to just beat on your structure. You want them to actually have a chance to get up to you, even if it's not a great one. This way, oops, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this way they at least have a chance to get up to me. Okay. At some point, I might end up ripping up the rest of this roof because it's all ha it's all half slab right now, and I might change it back to regular slab so I can actually like fight better. Now, the one key issue here is this is not an enclosed box, so like if a cop comes from the side or if a bird comes, which this is like our third or fourth horde, um, it could get kind of nasty. Also, I did kill that one thingy, which was good. Oh, and then I need my gloves. I need my preacher gloves for the fight, and then I need what's left of my 762 that I spent all of to fight that beast. We got a legendary loot bag off of it, though, which is pretty sick. Hey. See, one, see, and here, here's a kicker about the dew collectors. The dew collectors are based on the hours of the game. So if you play with two hour days, then they're half as fast. If you play with half hour days, they're twice as fast. And since I'm doing half hour days, they're twice as fast. So I'll only need like two or three and I'll have like infinite water basically. Okay. And then I have my bow. I've got my Kniffy. We are at our, let's say, which horde is this? Third, fourth, something like that. Yeah, I definitely need to replace at least these three with better blocks. Wow, that's loud. Whoa. Oh, when they come up from the side, they just launch themselves off. It's so funny. That is very loud. Y'all coming or what? 